Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Uh, if this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe and also turn on the notification icon. So in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Photoshop panel ready for picture editing. Uh, I'm currently using Essential right now and we also have a panel named Photography which is meant for photographers like us. So I'm going to show you guys how to get it ready by yourself. Very easy, just a click away. So let's get into that. Let me show you my own uh, photography panel, the one I'm making use of workspace. So this photograph right now, if you can see now, this is what my panel look like. So this is my ultimate touch over here. This is my navigator over here. This is my infinite color over here. So these are my action panel over here. But I mostly use action for my retouching. So this that's why I brought my action to my left hand side. It's be easier for me to pick them. So that being said now, I'm going to reset my photography workspace. Reset photography so I can teach you guys how to uh, set your two. So once you create the photography panel, this is what it will look like from the scratch. To give you a wider space uh, for your picture editing, for it to be seen what you're doing. And in case you're not using a big screen, if you're using a big screen, you can just uh, make everything clumsy so you can split your screen. But if you're using a, a PC, probably a laptop, so you can just leave it this way, just bring in your panels. So on and so forth. Very easy for you to access your panel. So let's jump into that. Uh, this library, I'm not making it of lab right now. Adjustment, I'm using adjustment. So I'm going to leave the library and adjustment like this. So what I want to library is now, I'll go to my window, I'll go to my extension, then I'll pick my ultimate touch panel because I use that a lot. As you can see, it has brought it for me right there. So I can decide I don't want it to be here. I'll just move it away from there. I'll drag it. So I'll drag it to whatever location I want it to be. Okay. Maybe I love it this way. So I'll just drop it there. So next, I'll bring out my action. My action is over here already. As you can see, since we switched to our photography, it broke our action out for us. So to be easier for it to pick here. So I can still decide to leave my actions there or I can move it to another location. I can still decide to move it under my ultimate retouch panel or above it. So anyone I want to use. So that's that for that. Next, uh, you can see my tools are no, not all my tools are showing yet. My color palette is not showing down here. So I can just, I can drag it up. The reason why I'm being able to drag it up is because uh, my panel is not stopped. If it's stuck, I can't drag it up. So if it is stuck, the best thing to do now is to duplicate the panel into two. By clicking this arrow over here, as you can see, it has split into two, so it's showing the complete panel now. So, which is very easier. So I can just key it here. Well, me key it here now, it's giving me lesser space to work, so I'll just have to move it out. Move it out drag it to whatever place I want it to be. I can decide for it to be here. Anywhere I want it to be. But the best way to set it up is for you to drag everything. The ultimate retouch to be here. The action to let it be here. So I can have wider space for your picture editing. Then bring your panel back here. So that's the way I set up my panel for picture editing. Hope you learned a thing or two from this video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you have any question, you can just drop your question in the comment section below and I will get back to you on that. On my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this glowing light at the back of my image. I noticed it with the light in foot in uh, through my light, my lighting I did in Photoshop. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved that. So thanks for watching guys.